Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on April 8th, 2022. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, where we give you an update on space weather, earthquakes, volcanoes, and as well, look at world weather. Starting out here, looking at our sun, last 48 hours, as we noted yesterday, that large plasma filament left our sun in the southern hemisphere. And as well, watching large plasma filaments dance around the cresting limb right now. Incoming, we do have southern hemisphere sunspots to talk about. Other than that, there was a minor sunspot that created in the northern hemisphere and produced a C-class solar flare. Looking at outgoing imagery here, you'll be able to see it on the left-hand side. You'll see a little bright region appear and then get a couple flashes there. So that was C-class solar flare. Another quick look at the region that produced the energy. Amazing imagery coming from Solar Dynamics Observatory. So happy to be able to share these images with you. And I'm, I thank you so much for letting me into your living rooms and as well following along with daily events worldwide. Looking at multi-spectrum here of all the last 48 hours of the events. No major space weather events thwarted our way, but we are expecting our space weather event April 12th to the 14th. As well, looking at 171 angstroms there, we have an Earth-facing coronal hole. So within 36 hours, we will see our coronal hole wind stream penetrating a planet. We'll see an increase in the solar winds and as well the density. Looking at LASCO 2 and 3, last 48 hours, not much to talk about. Solar X-ray flux, as you can see, it jumped up into C-class range today after a minor B-class earlier and as well as CME. Geomagnetic activity slightly elevated. Looking at a real-time solar wind. 350 kilometers per second on average right now after being up to about 460. Definitely a very sporadic solar wind stream right now. Having a look at ISWA space prediction spiral, just showing the most recent CME that let loose will be arriving, sorry, 12th into the 13th of April. Schumann resonance for today, a power of 71, a very energetic Schumann resonance today. Power, amplitude of 71 and quality of 11.7. Power, 37. Let's get to earthquakes here the, for the last 24 hours, starting out here. Most recent with the Serengeti, Philippines, 4.5 earthquake. As well, still activity all around the Banda Sea and here in Taiwan, 5.3 today. But after the report last night, a 5.7 earthquake rang out overnight through the region. So Taiwan was a shaking last night. And yet again today with a 5.3 following that 5.7. Indian Plate here, 4.7. Carlsberg Ridge also reported 10 kilometer depth. Quiet through African Plate and Eurasia. South Sandwich Islands reporting a 4.7. And as well, a southern east Pacific rise reported a 5.0 earthquake here. Pretty rare er place for earthquakes. South America, 4.2, 4.0 there in Chile. 4.2, Guadalupe. And as well, a 4.7 here in Haiti reported today. And as well, lots of seismicity coming back to the Dominican Republic. Largest in the region today, 3.5. White City, New Mexico, seeing a small swarm. Other than that, across the United States, no major swarms to talk about and no major earthquakes. Quiet today in Hawaii, only reporting 1, 2.5. And as well, quieting down through Alaska, but still a lot of numerous minor earthquakes through the region 4.2 there Russia 50 kilometer depth 
south of Kamchatka. And then we get to our deepest earthquakes of the day. 4.5 Fiji region, 577 kilometer depth as well, a 4.3 at 605. So definitely with these deep earthquakes, we can expect a larger and shallower earthquake to follow here within the next 24 hours. Let's have a quick look at the last seven days across the world. Definitely keeping an eye on Kilauea Summit and as well Campi Flegri in Italy as waters in the area have turned to red from an algae bloom. And there's been a lot of activity through the region. So scientists and geologists through the area, through Volcano Discovery, are reporting that they are on watch for Campi Flegri. After the water in Averno Crater Lake turned red last week because of an unusually strong algae bloom. Having a look at the Pacific Disaster Center, showing the most recent satellite imagery and as well most recent volcanoes getting updated. Katmai in Russia, as well Dokono in Indonesia, Fuego in Guatemala. Sangay in Ecuador, Sabancaya in Peru, a Reventador in Ecuador, Popo in Mexico, and of course keeping an eye on Campi Flegri in Italy. Having a look here, satellite imagery across the world, still a very large low over North America. Storms continuing through Brazil, Argentina, as well winter storm conditions continue through northern Ontario and into Quebec, even parts of northeastern United States. Looking across the Pacific, pretty big system heading into the west coast now. Stay tuned for the weather forecast coming up. We also have Tropical Cyclone Philly, who's heading towards New Zealand. And we also have Tropical Storm Malacas, who has been named and will be heading towards Mariana Islands. A lot of wildfires breaking out across Thailand. And stormy conditions across Western and Central Europe as those systems have moved in and cooler temperatures are really funneling down. And let's have a look at our world weather forecast. Here is that low I was talking about over eastern Canada, the United States. The lingering low is going to usher down some pretty cool temperatures behind this. We could get some flurries tonight into tomorrow for Ontario. But then look at western Canada, Canadian prairies, big system forming there as well. Snow falling in higher elevations across the Pacific Northwest. And then watch here, the 11th into the 12th, watch for a pretty strong system heading into the Oregon coastline and is going to grind into the coast and then head southward. And watch for that to be a big player in the extra long range forecast for most of central United States. For more detailed forecast, please check out latest videos. Just showing you here today the most recent systems that are affecting our, con our continents or from around the world. Low pressure center heading through the Mediterranean. No major systems for Africa. Got some intense rains heading towards uh, the southern tip of India and Sri Lanka. Could have a tropical system here developing in the long range, but big high pressure ridge ahead of that. It's going to gobble it up. And then a quick look here at the forecast models for Tropical cyclone or tropical cyclone Malacca, who looks like it's just gonna just barely miss the coastline of Japan, and then we've got this big system here, long range forecast coming into parts of Northwest Australia. Could be a cyclone by the time it makes landfall. 
April 18th into the 19th, and then look at this long band of moisture stretching across Australia. And that has been the Daily Do for y'all today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please hit that like button, share with your friends and family. Stay aware and prepared, stay young and have fun, and get your Daily Do. Bye-bye now. Subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.